Hey guys, Tyraku here again, back with the free-to-play series, part number 10, I think, if I'm counting these correctly. That is where we are. Now, before we jump into this series, guys, if you're enjoying it and you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you want to be notified when future videos release, check out the Discord channel. The link is in the description below, as well as probably the top pinned comment. And if you want to check out the Twitch stream, guys, interact live. I'm there every day except for Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 p.m. till 3 a.m. Eastern Time. So today, now with that said, on the Twitch side of things, I typically play on my main account, which is not free to play, but more than happy to help anybody out. We have Follower Fridays and Sub Sundays. Basically, for Follower Fridays, if you're a follower of the Twitch stream, I do do free account reviews. Sundays are free account reviews for subscribers. Now, now that's enough of that. Let's jump into the video today. The last video, I said I was going to work on these challenges, working on the um, the boots, and I did actually just finish that. I got very lucky. I did like 18 battles, and that went ahead, got finished. So I'm super happy we got those four-star um, HP percent boots. Those I thought they were going to take a long time. Now, I did say that I was going to do this on a video, to show you how we can actually complete this because I did have somebody in the stream say they wouldn't know how to do this. So shout out to who, to D Abic, I believe that's who he said. Uh, let's go ahead and go through this and show you how you can get the uh, 30,000 HP. This is the difficult one right here. 30,000 HP with any champion. So what I'm gonna do, first off, we have, an, we have to equip a support type champion with four star or higher gauntlets, boots, and a chest plate with HP percent as a primary stat. So basically those gauntlet boots and chest plate that you earned while doing these, you have to equip those. And then it says equip a champion with three four star higher artifact sets. Let's see if we can do that. Um, we're gonna do this, equipping a support type champion. So there, let's sort by HP percent. You can see this, my camera's not taking up the space. These are all HP percent. This should get us pretty close to that number we need. Boom, so we have that finished, okay? Let's see where our HP is at right now. 10,000, all right? Go ahead and take these to level eight. This should get us very, very close. Like, once we get these upgraded to level eight, may have to put a little bit more HP on somewhere, but it should get us very close to that range. If we had flat HP, that may actually even do better. Worst case scenario, we have to upgrade him, which I think he's level 40, I don't know, i have to check. But uh, his level, we should be able to get 30,000, 40,000 HP without too much of an issue. Now, these boots are by no means optimal. I'll be switching these off down the road. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty low, 11,000. He's level 24. Um, so what I'll show you is going to happen. Pay this to 8 as well. Worst case scenario, what we have to do is just level him up to level 40, drop some bruise into him, because each level... He'll get more base HP, and these HP percentage pieces of gear scale off of your base HP, your base health points. So obviously, as he levels more and more, I'll get more and more HP, like significantly more. Whereas if these were flat stats, if this was flat HP, we would just get that added directly, and it may be a little bit easier to reach that 30,000, at least at first, possibly. I'm not really sure. But we're going to try to get it by doing this. See how high of a level we actually have to take Grinner. If you don't have Grinner, you can do it on uh, Warpriest fairly easily. She has a base HP of 6,300. He has a base HP of 5,500 right now. Now, at this point, 13,000. So we're like not even halfway there yet. Let's see if we can drop some incorrect affinity brews into him. Let's go ahead and waste these more or less. So you see his HP went about 500. Still a little ways away. Goes up another 200. See, this might be a little bit more difficult than I expected, honestly. But we'll, we will definitely make sure to get this. Um, another 500. So he's 37 right now. When we ascend him, that's another little boost to his HP. His, uh, his HP is going to go up to an extra 100 there. Uh, we don't. We actually, actually, we can do this. Let's go ahead and ascend him again. Potion mixer. Give him another level of ascension. So he's fully ascended. 6,900 base HP. Every single extra point helps out tremendously. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, so we're at 16,000 HP. Now the helmet 
has HP built in. We have a four star helmet and we do not. Unfortunately, obviously having a full HP set helps out a lot. I wish we had a four star helmet so we could complete the other challenge, which is, um, what is it? Equip a champion with three four star or higher artifact sets. Okay, so we can actually um, do that a little differently. We don't have to have life artifact sets, which is good. Let's see, we have equipped, we have any four star pieces? No. So it looks like we'll have to go back and farm some four star pieces of something else. We need one top row piece. Let's go ahead and take these up to 12 and see how close that gets us to the, uh, the 30,000 HP. We're probably gonna run out of silver, unfortunately. Because right now we're at pretty low HP. Like, not even halfway. Well, maybe a little bit over halfway, I think. The helmet's gonna give us a little bump. The, um... So... <laughs> we're a little over half. Yeah, so this is not gonna be super easy. But, actually, let's see. We have Kale, who is... He has a base HP of 7,000. Okay. It's a little bit better. And it says... On any champion, right? With any champion. Okay, 30,000 HP with any champion. So, we could, in theory, put this on Kale instead. But we're not cl quite close enough. He doesn't really have that much more HP. Just a little bit. Like a thousand more. Uh, let's get this upgraded. 12. Gotta be careful with the silver though. Because we are in a little tight situation here. We may we may not be able to get this quest done today. I may have to finish up leveling. May have to get Grinner fully leveled. Or just get Kale leveled up all the way. And then equip these pieces on him. To see if we can push that up to the level we need it to be at. So hopefully this hits 12. But will give us a nice little boost to HP percentage. And then we're sitting now at 17,000. So we need about, what, 13,000 more HP? We can get a little bit from the helmet. So Kale... I'm trying to think. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely wouldn't be enough if we was to even use Kale. So we'll have to work on that the next video to like actually finish this completely. We're going to need more silver. But if we took this piece to probably six, if we took these bottom row pieces of gear to 16, and then maybe the top row piece to like 12, should be fine. Like this helmet, because it gives HP as well. That should give us the number we need. I'm gonna go ahead and get him to level 40 some point soon to get his base HP up a little bit higher, and we should be good to go. Now today, what I wanna work on is we have these, these challenges done for the artifacts. We can't do anything else like this, We'll complete this later on. I want to go ahead and move through the campaign. Well, actually, let's check with the events. The uh, the new fusion event is starting very soon. So I'm kind of considering saving some energy for this dungeon divers. We may be able to pick up a few rares. So if you're playing right now as a free-to-play, it may be worth considering like, hey, maybe I shouldn't drop all my energy into this stuff just yet because I may have a pretty good chance of getting some good rare champions. Possibly. Depending on how the uh, the events are set up. But I need to do my daily quests. We'll go ahead and go in here. Do our five arena battles. Hopefully I can get some pretty easy wins. Our Kale is pretty low level. But we have Grinner. This should work out fine. Um, our Kale is pretty fast. Pretty good for the arena overall. Um, but you want to make sure you're always doing your arena battles, of course. I mean, not your arena battles. Arena battles are great, obviously. But you want to make sure you're always doing your daily missions. Daily quests, that is our mission actually i did want to show you guys that we did go through a few missions so we're at this win 10 medals from classic arena battles which since we're in bronze one is basically win 10 battles in general if we were in bronze two it'd be what win five i think you get two bronze medals if you're getting victories in bronze two if you're bronze higher bronze you get more me medals high arena you get more medals so unfortunately we're just bronze ones so we gotta win quite a few more battles. Luckily, we have some people who are very kind, just putting a Death Knight on their team. So you gotta love it. I definitely love it. I love these easy victories, and you can't complain about that. Uh, this one right here should be a victim. Um, no, our five-star Kale is gonna be stronger than them for sure. Like, I'm gonna show you the power of a five-star potentially. He's not even level 50, and he can probably solo this. Well, basically solo. I mean, Kale's doing all the heavy lifting here. But, like, the, the the rank increase 
is such a huge difference between champions. Like going against a 40, a level 40 champion is like no comparison basically. Five star is crazy, crazy high, crazy high difference. And not even that much more work. And then just imagine six star. Like I won't even go against a six star champion. A six star champion will solo our team at this point in the game. Uh, so we are at, we have four more tokens left. We should be getting pretty close to that mission being complete. We'll go ahead and do this one as well. We'll probably complete that by the end of this video. I want to move through the campaign. I haven't done a whole lot of that recently, but honestly, we should be able to just breeze right through it. I'll probably try to complete a decent amount of it today. Uh, okay, so this one is like, maybe. They're like all level 40, four star level 40, which makes me a little bit worried, but look, see exactly what I was saying, guys. This Gallic may hit pretty hard, though. Yeah. We have two res, though. We have a res from Shaman as well as a res from Grinner. Um, they kill us. No problem. We bring them back to life. Nice. Grinner's good. Especially with Shaman there. We don't have to have a crazy team. We have to get... Let's see. Let's see. One more victory in the arena. Let's see. Who can we beat? Uh, probably not. Possibly. A very, very unlikely, but possible. Cupidus is the only one, only one I'm kind of worried about. Because, yeah, he does hit hard. Everyone else I'm not too worried about, though. Like, they're all level 40. Kale should be fine against them. Now, granted, my Kale is strong affinity against Cupidus, because Cupidus is spirit. Kale is magic. So that does help. But, like I said, Cupidus is quite a bit higher level, and he does hit hard, so I fi kind of figured we were going to lose that one. Um, you know, I'll probably just go ahead for the video's sake. We're free to play, but hey, I'll go ahead and refresh it, get an easy match here, hopefully. We have one token to spend. Oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We can do this one? I think we got it. Level 17. She probably five-star, though, isn't she? We have two res champions, like, for real, though. Aethel's a beast in the arena. Like, she's probably my second favorite starter champion. Just because of her AoE, she's so good in the arena. And even in the clan ball, she's not bad. For not having a poison, she's really not bad. This, her A1 ability even hits pretty hard. But, I mean, this, she's not no Kale, okay? So, let's, let's uh, dial back the expectations. I think we should be fine here still. One more Acid Rain. I should do some work. The Jizzo's counterattack, very nice. We'll be getting him, I think, in two or three days because we are on daily login. Let's see. Let's see what we're at. Uh, for the daily logins, we're day 10. And then for these new player rewards, we're going on. We're day three now. So we're moving along. I did get these gloves. I didn't check what they were, actually. Let's see. If they're crit rate, that would be awesome. Defense uh, and defense flat. So we're not really getting great gear from that. Kind of to be expected, though. Let's go ahead and complete this. I don't know why you gotta... This is kind of a weird, like, complete stage 7 of Tilshire on normal. We had some missions to do hard early. I don't know. We had... Actually, there was a mission... There was a challenge earlier. No, it was a mission to complete the campaign on normal. Odd. Upgrade champion to level 40. Actually, that's perfect. I'm glad we didn't finish level him up. Awesome. So we'll be able to go ahead and do that as we're progressing through everything. Go ahead and claim all these. Summon three champions. I actually didn't realize we had that challenge to do. Or else I would have done it. I actually, like, I would have not, would have upgraded Grinner to level 40 and missed out on the challenge. We had to do another champion to 40. Not a big deal, but it's better to do it, like, you know, like now. Let's go do stage seven. Get rid of that. Take Grinner. Grinner and Kale are going to be the two people that I use for quite a bit of the campaign. Easy, clear, I hope. In my head, I'm thinking it's gonna be easy. We'll see right here. Like if they beat this stage, it should be fine. But we'll see how far they move through it. Now, brutal is when you really start farming a lot, uh, like where I really like to farm. Uh, farming the speed stages, farming the chapter 12 for experience. We should move through this, like I said, without too much of a difficulty though. This would kind of be my plan is to between this video and the next video is to move through the campaign. I do need to get that 30,000 HP challenge complete. 
which is going to take a little bit of time. Um, I do want to jump in the clan boss, though, because our last clan boss, we uh, we attacked it when it was on force. It was easy. We attacked it on force affinity. And our Grinner wasn't leveled up, I don't think. I think he was level 1, maybe. Very low, if anything. And uh, he wasn't doing a whole lot. So I do want to jump in the clan boss, see how Grinner does, now that he has some gear on him, now that we may actually get a res out from him, because I should Barkel live a little bit longer. Now, Grinner may still die, because he doesn't have lifesteal gear or anything like that on him, whereas Kel does have lifesteal gear, and it helps out a little bit. Helps out more so once you get the tier 6 masteries, which we'll jump into later on. We're getting close to that gym number, and the missions, we're getting very close to this 300 gems. Once we get that, really gonna help our progression. So we got these coming up. Let's kind of take a look at these. Anything that's gonna stop us? Stop us? No. Everything's gonna be pretty easy. Should be smooth sailing. These arena ones are the slowest. 500,000 damage. We'll be past that. Yeah, equip two attack type champions with level 12 plus gauntlets. Yeah. After we finish these challenges, we have a uh, a four star higher with attack percent from sewers of Arnot coming up. So, so much grinding the same stages of these early stage levels. So, we got that to look forward to. Let's go ahead and jump into the clan boss, do a clan boss battle. Let's see what we get from the chest, okay? As you remember, yesterday was Force Affinity, so we didn't get to do really what we wanted to. That's a really good chest, actually. HP percent, immortal. Awesome. Dang it. So, still Force Affinity. This would be much better for Kale, though I don't think we'll be able to even get the top chest. Let's see if having Grinner helps us out though. Like I said, yesterday he wasn't leveled up. Help. They were all weak hits. You can't apply debuffs on weak hits, unfortunately. So where Kale could have been applying his poisons, we didn't apply anything at all. I think it's gonna be kind of the same turnout as yesterday. Basically, getting at the second chest. I keep forgetting to log in and use my other two keys. So we're not getting the full benefits out of it. Because I could have definitely got the top chest yesterday if I would have used all four keys instead of only only used two. And Kale's going pretty slow here. Obviously, we're very early in the game right now. So we don't have any good support champions necessarily to keep ourselves alive through this. Obviously, Shaman and War Priest are great support champions, but they're not geared. They're not optimized, so we're not really using them to be honest. The res is the biggest thing, it's nice. If Kale could even land that A3 ability, that um, poison thing where he lands like three poisons, if he would land a few of them, that would help our damage out a ton. We die there, make it to turn 10, 300,000 damage, replay that, get another 300,000, no problem. So I'll jump back in here guys as soon as we finish this to see what our damage is. Alright guys, so that's the difference between some poisons landing and poisons not landing. We did 446,000 damage there. I think this gives us the third chest. So what, what, what do we have? Um, Taraku. I think that's my name. Where am I even at? Oh, easy. Not normal. Um, okay, 747. Dang. So close. We got second chest again. Literally one more poison and we would have had this third chest. Not a huge deal. Second chest, still good. We'll get two of them. Because the easy clan boss is dying. It's awesome. Uh, let's go into the clan. See if we got any applications. Dang. We got a lot of applications. Holy crap. Alright, let's see if we recognize anybody's name. Gallic Gang? Gallic Gang? What in the world? Yellow King free to play. You already accepted another clan. Gallic Gang? Yeah, I'm glad you're accepting another clan, dude. Um, they haven't changed their names yet. I'm going to assume they're not very active. I don't know. Let's just accept some people. Boom, boom. Oh, the clan is full. Sorry. Uh, player with the numbers. Sorry, dude. Let's see if we got anybody to kick. I should have done that before I rejected it. We got a few people who may be removed fairly soon, guys. But that is what it is. If you want to join, let me know. We can make a new clan here soon if needed. But other than that, guys, between this video and the next video, I want to go through the campaign. I'm going to try to progress basically through as much of it as possible, most likely. Go ahead and get some of these rewards. Get some experience boosts. We are down to 13 hours. Those will be helpful. Uh, but go ahead and burn through all of this. I'm not going to use any shards right now. I'm going to go ahead and save them up for the uh, expected champion chase event coming up. Because typically whenever there's fusions, there's champion chase events. So expecting that, that's what I'm going to do. 
I would like to push this. I don't have enough. I'm not going to be able to get this reward. But I'll do a few more and go ahead and get this or try to. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out some other videos on the channel, guys. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you all in the next one.